So, um, John, you talk about VPNs and virtual machines and stuff, and a lot of times it's got my head spin, but I finally dipped my toe into it. Um, and I think I've used a VPN before for one thing or another, but I, um, so, so as you know, we've, we've I talked about a little bit on here about how Peacock kind of took over the contract for WWE. WB Network went off the air as of Sunday. Uh, you cannot subscribe to it. You have to subscribe to Peacock, right? And um, a lot of wrestling fans, WWE fans, are not happy about this because while it is a cheaper endeavor, the stuff that we've been enjoying for the last seven years and that building of the catalog they've done of old stuff like wrestling I grew up on on Sunday morning, like the syndicated show from the late 80s, early 90s is on there, right? And then, and then the same stuff for the same era for WCW or here's Smoky Mountain Wrestling or here's the ECW stuff. And Peacock, like... Uh, you know, doesn't even have every pay-per-view, which was something they touted when they even launched this thing seven years ago, right? So this just it's just, it's it's just a mess right now and not good. It's a second-class citizen on another platform. It's not good for American wrestling fans that are uh, WWE fans. Let's 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 qualify that. But that's in the U U.S. In other countries, the WWE Network still exists as it has always exists. It still carries on in this weird alternative universe. So I explored VPNs, uh, Chilla. <laughs> so, um, so, so you could, so you could. It was not a VPN in the fact like you want to get back to your house, but VPN in yeah. the fact like you want to. Yes, this is of course hide your identity. I, I, yes, <laughs> it'll be like, hi, I'm completely in England. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> And, and I, I researched, and that I can tell this is not illegal. This is uh, potentially against the ser terms of service for whatever you sign up for. Uh, if I start logging into Canada and stuff for, for Netflix, um, not that I heard they do it too much, but they could, if they start detecting there's a VPN or strange behavior with their logins, they can be like, yeah, you just logged in in Canada and then America and then this and that and the other thing. Like they can, I mean, worst case, they delete your account, right? So there's that. I mean, there's a little bit of risk if you decide to start kind of poking at a lot of these things, uh, which really in the long run, you use a different email address and you sign back up, right? <laughs> so, um, but uh, so, so I was playing with, I was playing with it and uh, I wanted to do a demonstration video for the wrestling fans on our YouTube channel. And I, I used ExpressVPN. I hear about it every week on, on the Twit Network and, and everything that I rec they recommended, it sounded like a lot of other VPNs do not work specifically with WWE Network. Like they'll detect them, um, but this is one of the best ones. It's like thirteen bucks a month, but you can get down to eight something if you buy for like six months or a year. Um, and I needed it for business anyways because I'm gonna start traveling and I'm gonna try to be a little safer. And, and when I'm in hotels, use VPNs and things like that. That say I'm in America, by the way. Uh, so, um, and and Chilla, I'm amazed how easy it is to use because I'm like, oh, there's this. It's probably like a big like. How is this gonna work on the phone? I forget that things actually integrate with iOS now. <laughs> in, a, in a better basis because I thought it was going to be like you download the app and you have to do everything through that app kind of thing. Um, I downloaded it to my Mac. You turn it on. The biggest thing is you had to clear cookies because it still kept coming up every time, no matter what country you're in. Like, hey, go to Peacock to sign up kind of thing. But you have to clear cookies so it, it clears whatever American cookies that you had that say that. Um, and it's literally um, it, when it's cool to, it's cool to watch when you're on an app and i experienced this going to thailand and i you know queued up netflix and it, like the lineup looked different than i was used to here right um but it's more profound because if you go into the the wwe app and all it is is and there it is that's the app and the, and the app on the um uh, mac looks the same it's just a big button <laughs> that says i'm connected so i'll just go ahead and connect there boom connected to uh docklands uk and uh, I can pull up the WWE app and I get everything that I enjoyed. Now, you know, granted, this is now costing you uh, well over $20, $25 in order to do. But if I, I see this as a Band-Aid, if you really want to watch that stuff for whatever reason and you're not happy with the Peacock situation, um, I would not recommend doing it this way to watch like WrestleMania or something. But for like, you know, kind of that back catalog, if that's the thing you want to do, I would go for it. Um, and uh, uh, it, it's, it's, it, it, to me, it feels like a Band-Aid until they say 
by SummerSlam. Um, all that content will, should be back on Peacock. But of course, there's, you know, are they deleting stuff and things like that? You know, there's like the, the content thing. And I will point out something that they said that uh, Peacock took out. There was a match between Rowdy Roddy Piper um, and Bad News Brown that is does not hold up. Uh, time-wise uh, for reasons i won't get into it here but that is also deleted on this version of wb network in the uk as well so i think they kind of band-aid that across across the spectrum if you will um so uh yeah I, I was amazed how easy it is fairly inexpensive works really well on the phone um as far as getting it on say your apple tv or something like that um i believe there is a version of this that you can install on your router I can't imagine you're going to be able to do that on your Verizon Fios mm. router, but if you buy certain ones, you probably have a little more to do with that. Does that the, seem right, Chuck? I'm 98% sure newer Apple TVs support VPN. Right, but the I did not see an app for ExpressVPN when I looked, but but, okay. you, but I don't know if the does the app need to exist, or is it one of those like you send a file and send it? You might be it. able to send a file or right. send a config to it. The, the one quick, can you do me a favor? Are you are you right now representing yourself as in the UK? On my on phone, phone, on my phone currently, yes. Can you open up Google Maps? <laughs> what does it do? What does it do? I wish I had the Mac still in the system so I could I could pull this up. So I'm hitting Google Maps. It says <clears> I'm that's... here. I mean, I don't know what's supposed. Okay, to so be it's different. not. So it's trying. It's using the yeah, GPS. It's, I'm, yeah, I'm wondering using, if you yeah. turned off. I'm wondering if you turned off cellular and everything else. And you only had the VPN. Guy. Would I land up in in the in the middle of uh, of Docklands, UK? Is that what you think is going to yeah, happen? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> well, so here's where I'm going with this: is hey, can I start to get Pokemon that I can't get? Uh, in our country? no, you got to fool the GPS at that point. That's not about the country. Yeah, but, but not about... every device has a GPS. So right. Like, I mean, an well... iPod Touch doesn't have a gps well i don't know can you do the i, I how does this pokemon work on I, i'm not aware I mean, is it, it triangulates off the wi-fi oh okay all right well um well i also you yeah, think vpns on that server is it's, it's the server telling you where it's coming from as opposed to location like it, it's kind of two different um vectors right yeah but we've i've seen this it, it and kraus tell me if if you think i'm a lunatic i've seen this at places like work where you're using like proxy services and you go to google maps and obviously there's no gps so it's like bouncing you off the state yeah. or the location of your pro proxy ingress or egress so right i'm i'm what i'm guessing I, like i said I'm, I'm wondering if there's a way to fool it's on the on. internet if there is yes <laughs> just saying the other thing is I'm a, i would be super scared about niantic banning me and my oh, account yeah. because i have many a many a pokemon because i i've picked that up recently again um we've been doing pokemon walks at least twice a week so Very i cool. wouldn't want to lose my account okay okay so that's my awesome thing the express vpn is the awesome thing because i've i've got a chance to play with it and I'm I'm looking for other things that I can hop into. 